Vito are going to hit hard this new Enduro season, introducing a new model RR2T and 4T X Pro My 2025 to the market. With a host of new features coming to the new bikes, it's really going to raise them to a new level. The frame and suspension have undergone the most radical changes, giving the bike its own bold personality. In particular, the suspension compartment is completely new. Both fork and shock absorber have been completely redesigned from scratch, together with ZF technicians, to reach an innovative and functional product, specific for the X-Pro project, which greatly increases the bike's potential. X-Pro takes a major step forward, frame and suspension-wise, by adopting a new frame with increased main spar section, already featured in the Enduro Racing My24 models. The result of this intervention is a bike that is overall much more precise and stable, both entering and even bands and which conveys a greater feeling of safety in keeping the high performance of the engine tamed. The new ZF suspension for the RRX Pro My2025 has been completely redesigned with an architecture that features a reduced interaxle spacing and travel. This changes the bike's behaviour and lowers the overall height by around 20mm. The new fork has been completely redesigned with a new asymmetrical scheme in order to optimise hydraulic operation and reduce the overall weight by around 250 grams, clearly improving the bike's rideability. The division of work between the right and left leg allows greater control over the suspension's components. In in particular, the right leg manages the elastic operation through a single special steel spring with increased section, making the bike 25% lighter compared to two spring models and doubling its elastic capacity, while the left leg now deals only with hydraulic operation. The new single shock has undergone a significant compression adjustment development and it has been completely redesigned to improve oil flow dynamics. This update has made internal passages more linear, guaranteeing much more effective adjustments by removing all structural constraints that could negatively affect the behavior of the single shock and which, as such, could not be managed through external adjustments. The X-Pro's new personality also went complete restyling of the bike's superstructures and graphics. Headlight, rad scoops, side and rear mill guards have been redesigned by Beta. The mask has a tapered design, while the tail and the rad scoops elongate the bike with a new dynamism, cleverly connected by a new contrasting graphic on white plastic parts. The result is a bubbly product which breaks away from the past and highlights its all new personality. The new frame welcomes a new, higher performing Nissin rear brake cylinder. This component, inherited from racing models, is an upgrade compared to previous models and it is distinguished as well as in its outer construction by its greater braking power combined with an improved ability to modulate it. The improved riding comfort also includes the new silent blocks equipped on the RRX Pro. This component helps to reduce the vibrations transmitted from the handlebar to the rider, making the grip much more comfortable and less tiring. This is also the first time a 200cc coolant expansion tank is equipped on Beta's Enduro models. This tank collects any water expelled from the radiator as temperature rises, especially when using the bike in a slower, more technical way or in extreme Enduro passages. The tray is housed in a shock protected position inside the frame, immediately above the exhaust manifold. To highlight the new extreme character of RRX Pro, the new front toe strap has been introduced as a standard feature, very useful for getting out of the most challenging situations. The mapping switch button is no longer located in the traditional position behind the steering tube. It is now on the handlebar in a housing inspired by Beta's motocross models inside the bumper. You can find all the information at betamotor.com.